Nintendo is really fueling me right now. Disaster Day of Crisis is on an unknown status to a possibility of not coming to the United States of America. And it is pissing me off. There's no reason. There is no reason. They've hyped this game for us actual gamers who don't want to play carnival games. I mean, some of us freaking want to play real video games. And the Wii is slowly dissolving any of this. I mean, like, when No More Heroes go, I'm like, Oh my god, finally, a game for the Nintendo Wii! Thank you! But, no, what... And it's sad that the Nintendo president, Wedgie, doesn't even have hopes for the game. He immediately sprouts on making fun of the game that his own... K- they, they're publishing it. They, they didn't technically make it. They had someone else do that. But they're publishing and paying for it and shit. And he's making fun of it. And he's saying, like, Europeans are being made... Like, I I saw a few European comments saying that, like, Haha, we got a game before America. Well, Reggie screwed you all. He's using you as guinea pigs, saying if it don't sell well there, the United States ain't getting it. So you're not even getting anything special, according to him. And that would piss me off if I was a European. <laughs> and as previously said, he... Canned both Mother 1 2 for the Game Boy Vance coming to America, and he also canned Mother 3 coming to America. And again, he needs knocked in the block. And then he continues to be a freaking moron about other crap. It's a, and why on the discussion of this, like, why, where was Fatal Flame 4? Okay, no, it's not Fatal Flame 4, it's, uh, what was it, uh, Fatal Flame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. It doesn't have a number in Japan, according to what I know. It's just Project Zero, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, according to the translation. But, you know, everyone's calling it Fatal Flame 4, because, you know, it's the fourth major game to come out. Anywho. Okay, Tecmo owns the game. And they partially made it. But apparently they were also working with Grasshopper to make the game. And apparently even Nintendo snuck into this somehow. And even helped with making the game. And uh, Nintendo published the game in Japan. Now, so, like, why isn't Fatal Flame for Lunar Eclipse, or whatever the hell you want to call it, coming to America? Why? Why? Not a single word. It came out in, let's see, uh, the date for Japan was July 31, 08. So that was like a few months ago. Okay. Not a single fucking word for America. Not even mentioning it. I have not heard a single thing about Fatal Frame from anyone. And apparently the fans have been emailing, calling up every source of party of all three parties. Well, okay, two parties. I mean, it's kind of hard to contact Grasshopper from America, Europe. But I mean, uh, both Tecmo and the Nintendo apparently gave in several th- excuses saying contact the other party about it and shit. It's like, what the hell is that about? I remember that was shit back with Mother 3. Where Nintendo was just giving braided excuses like, Oh, we're not sure. Uh, you might want to contact so-and-so. And blah, 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 Like, whatever. <laughs> and now they have a whole campaign thing like Mother 3. And this is all deja vu of back then. I remember the, uh... Um, the Earthbound website, he did a campaign for Mother 3, and I think they had a little campaign for the remake one. I can't really remember that, but I know they had a campaign for Mother 3, and it's like, that that didn't go well. You know what? You want to know what? Wedgie, fuck you. Seriously, screw you. You're horrible. You don't give a shit about your fans or anything. You've mid in several... Go, I dare you. Go on YouTube and YouTube or news sites and that and look up his comments about Mother 3. He's mentioned several times that he still gets emails and shit about Mother 3. He knows people want this fucking game. And what does he do? What does he do? Ignores money. 
And that's the problem. That's all Reggie has on his stupid brain. He doesn't care about keeping promises like... I mean... Oh, I mean, like, Disaster, Days of Crisis, was one of the major titles being pointed towards more major gamers. Actual gaming people have gamed for years, and not just casual people. I mean, there's nothing wrong with casual games. Wii Sports is fun, but, you know, at this point, if you're still playing it, you either just got Wii, or you really you have the same problem as the several others and can't find anything else that's actually fun. <sighs> I mean, what, what, what goes through his head? And he's been backlashing shit, and... Uh, Nintendo's seriously pissing me off. And it's like, um, you ever heard of the Freeloader? There's tons of videos on it, uh, about it on YouTube. And it's a piece of bricked garbage now, because Nintendo's last update after Brawl came out, it bricked it, and several mod shit and crap to get around region protection and shit. It's like, oh, thank you, Nintendo. You suck! You know, it wasn't good enough when you first said, Oh, the Wii would be region free, and then you all fucking backstab your fans. You know, I wish... Ugh, you people make me mad. I mean... And, and now, like, after several iterations of handhelds that have been region free, now, now they're gonna make a DS that's region locked. I understand Nintendo doesn't like pirate tours. I don't either. I try to get legal copies of crap, but region lock shit is stuff that makes people pirate shit because you're not giving them the fucking game to get. I mean, that ain't necessarily everyone's problem. I mean, yeah, there are some people who are just pirates, so they don't have to purchase shit. But, I mean, you know, you know, just make it... I mean, like... I, I don't... Get really how region lock protects your system from pirated shit. I mean, if you have a unique CD that's for your console, and, I mean, like, PlayStation games you didn't simply use just a regular CD. You had to have a special encoding on it. And I don't know exactly how that works in pirating. I know there's like one system where you can make the modded console not recognize the coding, so you can just use normal CDs, but I mean that pirating is a different league. I'm talking about getting shit just to play legal games of other regions on the game. This shouldn't be a problem anymore. Okay, back in the old days of the NES and crap, this shit is a little understandable, obviously. Because back then, you had, like, different televisions with Europe. There's still that problem, but it's... There's talk about Europe maybe changing their televisions to what other countries use in America and Japan. And then, there were a lot of different cartridges. I mean, like, the NES and Famicom were nothing alike. The cartridges were absolutely different. And the Europe Sega shit was also really weird and that. And, you know, I'm not sure what a Japanese Sega Genesis game looked like. I'm not sure if it even looked similar to America. <sighs> Ugh. But, I mean, you know, nowadays, this shit is needless. Why? Why is this shit done? Ugh. 